how to apply a boat name. For this example, we are using a name which has a fish graphic incorporated into the design. In this video, we are going to show you how to apply the name only. Before you get started, make sure your boat is either inside or you have a nice clear day without wind. Unpacking. Before starting, make sure you have a nice flat work area to use, clear of clutter and dust. Remove your name from its tube and roll it out on a bench. Use the squeegee to press out the front application paper. This ensures that the name is well adhered to the transfer paper. Next we need to pre-release the name from its waxed backing. Flip the name over, remove the folded edge, and slowly lift the backing halfway up by pulling it back against itself. Pay extra attention here to make sure the lettering stays with the tacky transfer paper. If part of the lettering comes away with the backing, then simply push it back down and continue. Flatten the backing back down and repeat for the other end. Cleaning. Clean the hull using methylated spirits, ensuring you remove all polish that may remain. A good way to test the adhesion rate of the hull is to press a strip of masking tape down and remove it. Does it feel like it's stuck well? If masking tape won't stick, then neither will your name. Positioning. Take the name in place approximately where you think it looks right. Then stand back a few meters so you can get a good idea of its position on the boat. Consider the lines of the boat and which is best to work off. In this case, we chose to work and measure from the rubbing stroke, as the chine line rises up towards the bow. Often you will be confronted with two non-parallel lines. It may be better to place the name on an angle of best fit between these lines rather than parallel to one. In this case, I have raised the front end of the name slightly to compensate for the rise of the chine. It is a very good idea to do this mock-up for both sides of the boat before applying anything, as you'll often find a mysterious drain hole or breather. Application. Once you're happy with the position, place a line of tape vertically down the centre, preferably through a gap in the letters if there is one. Mark the end of the positions with a pencil or break the tape to leave a mark to return to. Fold the name back and tape it up so it can't fall and stick to itself. Remove the backing paper and cut away the excess, being careful not to cut the hull. Spray the boat with your slightly soapy water mix and then lay the name back against the hull, making sure that the sticky side of the lettering does not touch itself. Squeegee the name down, starting an inch or so from where you cut the backing paper off. Start in the centre and work in an overlapping pattern from top to bottom. Once done, go over it again to ensure a good adhesion. Remove the center line of masking tape and repeat the process for the other end of the name. Removing application paper. Leave the name to dry for at least 30 minutes before removing the application paper. To remove the app tape, spray it with water and rub in for a good soaking. Leave it for about 30 seconds so that the water can penetrate and dissolve the glue and release from the lettering. Slowly peel the paper off by pulling it back against itself at an angle like this. Do not pull the paper off perpendicular to the boat as this will increase the chances of your lettering lifting. If you see a letter lifting up, stop immediately and push it back down. Don't worry, this just means that there's a little too much soap in your spray mix. 
Resqueegee the whole name and wait another 30 minutes before trying again to remove the paper. Removing bubbles. If there are small bubbles the size of a match head, then don't worry about them. They will disappear in a few days. For bubbles that are larger, simply pop the side with a pin and squeeze the water out. This name has a section cut out for a fish graphic to be laid into. For instructions on how to apply our printed graphics, watch our next video.